My name is Ask, uh, and I'm the product line responsible for our fibers and uh, modules. So, uh, so right here we actually have a product launch and this is our AeroGain uh, ROD module 3.1 and it's actually a, a new version of our ROD fiber technology which is used in ultra-fast lasers uh, as the main amplifier. Uh, so here we worked a lot on the, on the glass chemistry to basically improve the power handling of this uh, active fiber. So we are now able to rate this at 2.5x more power. That means that this module is actually rated for 250 watts of, uh, of power. And the old version of the rod, the Aerogain rod 2.1 down here, is rated for about 100 watts of, uh, of average power. Yeah, so these, uh, these kinds of modules here are used in ultra-fast lasers. Uh, they have the benefit that you can actually extract quite high pulse energies and operate these rods at, at high peak powers. So that would be running uh, the rods at two, three hundred uh, kilowatts of uh, peak power uh, inside these modules. Uh, and these would typically be run in a chirp pulse amplification mode where you actually stretch the pulses before they go into the amplifier and then you recompress them afterwards. Therefore giving you final pulse durations in the three to four hundred uh, femtosecond range. Yes, so uh, over here we have our uh, Aerogain base uh, module and that is actually our flagship active fiber, our DC200-40 fiber. So that's a 14, 40 micron uh, active, uh, active fiber, also used for uh, ultra-fast uh, lasers. Uh, so it's our are basically the largest flexible fibers that we do uh, and we integrate this into a module also to the lower barriers uh, for uh, laser uh, manufacturers to integrate our fiber technology in their products but without uh, can say the hassle of having to develop processes for coupling into the fibers so this is also uh, suited for uh, femtosecond uh, laser business so one of uh, NKT Photonics core competences is uh, basic fiber design. Uh, so we are world leading in photonic crystal fiber technology. Uh, we have the full value chain starting from the raw glass chemistry uh, to actual laser systems based on, on our fiber technology. And what our PCF technology allows us to do is, is basically to make very high performance active fibers and delivery fibers uh, that have excellent uh, beam quality uh, uh, so very nice single mode uh, uh, properties while still allowing high power uh, throughput uh, and also minimizing nonlinearities, which can limit a lot of uh, applications. Yeah, so I think uh, a few uh, other products were worth mentioning uh, would be some of our hollow core fibers. Um, uh, we've actually very recently released a new version of our photonic uh, band gap uh, hollow core fiber. Uh, that is designed for use around 920 nanometers. And that's actually a region that has uh, attracted a lot of interest over the, the, the last few years uh, in the area of uh, two-photon microscopy uh, because there are a lot of applications also in, in neuroscience uh, where you need uh, ultra-short pulses to actually look at uh, brain activity uh, in freely uh, uh, running mice, uh, that, that's one example. And there you actually would like to have a delivery of these ultra-short femtosecond laser pulses at the right uh, position. Then uh, also worth uh, mentioning is uh, our uh, large mode area photonic crystal fibers that is used for, for fiber delivery. Uh, these are characterized again by varying uh, mode field diameter from around 5 micron up to 15 micron. They are polarization maintaining, they can be used to deliver very broadband spectra uh, of light. Uh, so they go very well together with our super continuum uh, range of lasers where you actually have octave spanning, meaning a light that could extend down from the blue region at 400 nanometers up well beyond two microns. And there are a lot of applications within metrology and, and life science where you need to deliver all this light. Uh, and with these fibers you basically get very, very little change in the mode field diameter over this very broad uh, wavelength range. Uh, while still having very nice diffraction uh, limited uh, output.